Hello YouTube, friends, subscribers, and non-subscribers. This is JW Solar USA. Today's video is to show you guys how to attach MC4 connectors to your solar module or solar panel. Well, it depends. Most of the time, manufacturer already done the work for you. But it depends. If you have to do this by yourself, or DIY and you got modules like this you guys um, as I was saying um, I have a kill series here I just I got I ordered 16 panels these are the modules uh, serial number is um, Sam Mary dash 83 kilo Sam Mary so these are the ones I'm gonna be um, setting up for my system you're gonna be running into my 48 volt system. I have 10 of these and uh, six were um, gone to Tom and a total of 10 he has, I'm having 10 as well. So today I'm gonna to show you how this wire is right here. The modules came like this and I'm gonna be using these guys here. These are exactly what you see when you um, when the manufacturer already um, install everything for you and I ordered these ones from eBay uh, these are for rated for 30 amps so if you look at this panel right here is uh, less than is a uh, 10 amp 10.78 amps and this is a 30 amp the reason I'm using a 30 amp because if you have to parallel these panels in series parallel you increasing the voltage as well as the amperage or if you decide to go 12 volt system you wire the entire panel you have like this panel maybe uh, 6 or 10 of those or whatever the amperage tend to be higher but well, make sure you don't go over your uh, uh, your um, amperage rating these are rated only for 30 amps so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this First of all, the manufacturer already got some kind of little sod, uh, solder on it. So I just have to use a soldering wire or I have to use a butane torch. So today on this video, I'm going to be using this guy right here. See that? The Worthington propane torch right there. So this has a self ignition on it and this is the valve you release the gas and this is the shorter right here you know the flint and I'm gonna be using this to attach these uh, MC4 connectors so so far so good and you guys stay tuned and I'm gonna be performing the experiment here okay YouTube and uh, I'm gonna get this. Just uh, I have these here, and uh, this is oh okay. YouTube. Well, on the the lines here, you gotta make sure you have the positive and the negative. And here, okay, here is the positive wire. This is the one I had right here. See the plus. And here's the negative, the minus here. See that? Plus and minus. So this is the plus. So what I'm gonna do, if it's a plus, you gotta use this one, the male, with the two prongs on it. This is the male, and this is the female. This is the negative, and this is the positive, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna loosen up this one, and you even have a seal right here for waterproof so get this guy grab the right wire which is the positive right here and I'm gonna use because of the positive you can see the drive right here the hole is kinda big and here is smaller I hope you guys can see that see the small hole which this one goes there so this is what I'm gonna do. Got these guys all sit here. 
and you have a positive is this so we insert there's a solder right here they already put a solder on it so stick it right here so because of the solder is there I can able to preheat that solder and it's gonna stay right there okay let's start with the uh, negative first okay there's a negative right here so we use this guy there's a negative side of the the panel so stick this one in see that and we're gonna preheat that and it's gonna stay okay So we have the uh, propane tank. You can hear the gas. There you go. There goes the flame. And if you can see it, well, it's blue flame. Trust me, it's there. And so what we're gonna do now? Grab. And this is the negative. And the other solder that was in here already melted. So it's really hot, but it, it get cool so fast. So look at this. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere because the solder already melt inside this thing. So, so tight. We already got one terminal here. And we're going to stick this one. One of these. In and grab one of these and put it right away inside. Voila! See, it's all fixed. Make sure the seal is properly attached and aligned. And put this cover and just. All the way. Look at that. It's not going anywhere. So this is one. One is down. Done with that. And uh, if you want, you can just uh, crimp this one a little bit. Crimp this one. I did uh, another way so that you guys can see whatever is uh, good for you, you're comfortable with you're comfortable with so it comes to touch again and uh, solder already melted and just make sure that you have all your connection really tight and uh, it's not going anywhere see the reason that's why they have the solder little um, solder in there and just use the heat and inside the hole you guys know you can see it but um, it's already melted in there so that makes it look it doesn't go anywhere it's well attached so that's how you make a perfect contact take one of these guys one of these guys stick it back in here and grab this one right in here all the way in here the snap look 
it's the right connection oh yeah it's really good make sure this seal attach well see like a little cogs right here or when like you have a sprocket a ratchet and uh, sit right there align and then just get this thing going so I can make like hundreds of these a day look perfect connection even if you can put in a semi and pull it it's not gonna go anywhere tight no movement so today this is how I'm gonna uh, wrap up my video yeah two connect connectors right here all properly done professionally done you know what you say call it professional or whatever it is but two panels down already so far so good you know that's one panel here within um, two minutes I already made two panels see that just buy them you buy the MC4 connectors these ones are cheap you can buy ten of these connectors for eight or seven dollars from eBay Amazon whatever you can buy the way try to go to more of these uh, uh, places professional names and whatever they cost you so much I know one website want to tell you 10 of them or 20 of them for fifty six dollars ain't worth it so just buy you can buy 10 or 17 18 dollars free shipping so this is how I'm gonna wrap up my video trying to put all my MC4 connectors and they already have solder on them and I just preheat the thing ready to go these are all the tools you need for this you need this guy right here if you don't have one you can pick this one at Menards or Lowe's and um, whatever store hardware store you can get it and uh, right there I got two already done so I'm gonna continue doing this uh, for the uh, remaining time I have eight more to go and um, you guys will see these panels I want to put them live today if possible connect them put them mount them but uh, this is how I'm gonna wrap the video up thanks for watching I always appreciate you guys your comment if you haven't been a subscriber yet please subscribe because by subscribing you're gonna have all the latest coming out from this channel anytime I post something you guys are gonna be the number one guys to be notified and this is JW solo USA this is how you make um, do DIY connecting MC4 connect uh, connectors to solar panels that doesn't have MC4 connectors thanks for watching and God bless bye bye